everyone and welcome back to Hello Hi in part two of my tincture video. It's been about three weeks since we tested this freezer method and we're going to test it again today to see if leaving it in the freezer increased its potency. But before we do that, when I posted the last video, someone sent me an email and said that if I leave the lid off the stovetop method for 24 hours, it would evaporate some of the alcohol off and make the stovetop method more potent. So we're also going to test the stovetop method again to see if that's true. So let's get started. Starting with the freezer method, using a coffee filter, I strained the tincture in a measuring cup. When we first started, it was we started with one cup of tincture, and now after straining, there's about a third of a cup left. Then I poured the tincture in a small bowl and activated the tea check device. I put five drops of tincture in the test plate and walked through the steps on the app to start the testing. I'm going to walk through the steps just in case someone didn't watch part one of this tincture video. I verified I'm testing a decarbed infusion. Then I chose alcohol, verified the temperature of the tincture is 75 degrees, and then I let the tea check calibrate. After calibrating, I inserted the test plate for testing. Now this can take up to 45 seconds, so if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and turn on those notifications too. The test results are in, and the potency is 8.6 milligrams per milliliter, 127 milligrams per tablespoon, and if you remember, the freezer method originally tested at 121 milligrams per tablespoon. So leaving it in the freezer does not increase the potency of the tincture. Now let's move on to that stovetop method after evaporating the alcohol for 24 hours. I poured the tincture in a measuring cup and saw that more than half of the alcohol evaporated and I was left with a little less than a half a cup. Then I poured the tincture in a bowl and dropped five drops of tincture in the test plate and started the tea check again. I won't go through each step again, so let's get straight to the results. After evaporating the alcohol for 24 hours, the stovetop method is testing in at 14 milligrams per milliliter, 70 milligrams per teaspoon, and 210 milligrams per tablespoon. Wow, that's 53 milligrams per tablespoon higher in potency. Now, I was not expecting that, but thank you to my subscriber who simply suggested leaving it on the counter for about 24 hours with the lid off. So I'm glad I was able to share these results with you guys. You already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video.